Okay, just a quick video. We want to go over our triple box packing system, which in the two years that we have been using this particular design, we've had zero breakage or any kind of damage as a result of being shipped. So first off, we use a double walled 275 pound burst straight uh, heavy grade box in three different layers. And basically the inner layer is just large enough for the data card to sit on. We put one inch of foam sheet that it sits on for some padding. Then you'll see right here that there is a three quarter inch foam corner protector as well as separator. So it uh, raises the box and then provides another three quarters of an inch of foam. Then we have the center box, which again is another 275 pound double walled, uh, double walled 275 pound burst rate box. And it also, you can't see it because of all of this uh, foam, uh, uh, air padding, but it has the same kind of three quarters of an inch corner uh, protector and uh, separator at the bottom of this. So the two corner protectors provide uh, the equivalent of one and a half inches of foam. Then there is one inch of foam in the bottom of this box that the data card sits on. In addition to that, the, uh, the cardboard itself provides a certain amount of additional uh, shock resistance. Then on the outside of this box, on all sides, we have it packed with a high grade uh, individual cell uh, uh, these are pillows, air pillows, and I'll show you in a minute what they look like up close. They go all the way around. So anytime uh, this receives any impact, it's absorbed by the air. If the impact happened to hit this box, there's good separation between the boxes. And then this box, of course, is rigid and protecting as well. Okay. On the bottom of the box, we have a heavy grade going on all sides, including double reinforced on the corners. This is a uh, heavy grade cardboard um, corner protector so that you can see specifically what it is. You can see that it is basically as thick or maybe slightly thicker than the box itself. And this is secured on all four sides. And then there is another piece that goes in like this that double reinforces that. And this is banded in place as well as physically stapled into the box. Okay, this particular box is going to be going to a customer that's going to be sending us a data card that they have that has some issues that they want for us to repair for them. So we are going to provide uh, send this out um, empty, but we also provide a high uh, a high uh, strength poly bag that they'll be able to put the data card into to lower that down into this box. Um, once this box, once somebody has their data card inside, this box is sealed. So it is sealed, and it's sealed using a gum-backed nylon fiber reinforced tape. From that point, there are the same as what's on the bottom, but on top, that creates this separation between boxes, protects the corners. So we have that gap that if uh, any pin impact's coming on the side, it really can't get to the machine because it's all in the corners, and the corners are highly reinforced. Okay, and then once these are in, this is also going to be sealed. So this is sealed also. This is the center box. So there's the box within the box, and it also is with a gum-backed paper, nylon fiber reinforced um, tape. And then once again, and the reason these are put in is, again, so that only the reinforced corners or what any side or top or bottom pressure will impact these boxes. And then 
you can see that we've got all of this padding on all sides of it. So there is top and bottom, these corner foam protectors are three quarters of an inch. On the inner box, the middle box, there's one inch of the foam on the center box that's under the data card. And then there is the uh, heavy grade individual cell. Let's say this cell pops, it does not affect or deflate any of the others. So they're individual celled. Okay, and then this box is sealed. Okay, so the outer box is then sealed. And then it is sealed shut with the uh, paper gum backed nylon fiber reinforced tape plus a second layer with this pre-printed fragile tape on the top, so it's double, double sealed here. And then, to add extra protection, we have this, another, just like the bottom, the bottom has the same thing, which that bottom not only has the bottom of the box, but it's got this double wall, this is actually a uh, double layer cor corrugated box with the heavy grade edge protector that goes over the top so <clears throat> we now have all of this here now this when we're packing it and shipping it off is going to be banded um, with our banding machine but our customers in this case if they're shipping it to us is just going to securely tape across so that this thing stays taped in place so we're going to band this real quick and show you what that looks like okay so as we can see, it's banded directly on this top piece, keeping it shut so that these corners don't get caught or frayed or anything. And then it's double banded on three positions around the long end, and then it's double banded on two positions uh, going along the short end. And then we go ahead and we band protective side pieces in, which I'll show you here in just a moment. Okay, so now you can see that it has protection pretty much the entire place. There's just a very small gap between the lid and this side piece here. So we now have on all edges, all sides, fully reinforced corners and edge protectors. And there's a triple box system, of course, with the inner foam corner separators and protectors. Uh, we've got two and a half inches of foam that is protecting the data card. This lid has a double layer of reinforced um, cardboard within the lid. And then you've got the normal flaps to the box. And on the bottom, the same thing. You've got the flaps to the box or the box itself. And then a lid that has a double reinforced cardboard. So you've literally got uh, almost six layers of cardboard below and on top of the data card. And then you've got a triple layer on all sides in addition to the reinforced corners both inside and outside. And like I said, we have never had any shipping related damage in now more than two years of using the system. Now in addition to how we reinforce this, we also put um, some precautionary labeling on it, both you know the fragile type, but we also use sensors to determine whether or not this thing was um, handled roughly, and I'll show you those now. Okay, so once we've packed it, we properly label it that it's fragile, this end up on all sides. We also label the top with the delicate instrument handle with care labeling as well as fragile handle with care. We also label the box do not discard so people are aware that they don't want to discard this box that this is packaging that should be retained should you ever need to ship your data card whether to us or just to transport to a different location here and then of course we would label it. Now in addition to that we put a sensor now we don't this was an empty box as you'll recall so we wouldn't ordinarily put this on shipping it out empty but when we ship them out with the data card inside we also put additional sensors so this is called a tilt watch if this thing is tipped on its side or upside down then the center part here will be flagged red and that'll just let us know that if there does happen to be something um, going on with this particular machine we can determine that it might be related to being tipped upside down and that will give us a better understanding of how to proceed with any issues to help uh, a user adjust it right after transportation 
but uh, that's just a precautionary. Um, the real protection comes in how we safeguard the equipment as it goes out. And we ship these with just standard FedEx ground, occasionally UPS ground, and in two years and hundreds of devices being shipped, we have yet to have to file a claim uh, for damage in shipment. If you have any questions about our packing system, if you would like to obtain packing for your device or are going to ship to us, um, you can contact us because we do provide these uh, for sale as just a crate system for your uh, shipping needs. It is much easier, less expensive to ship than freight, and we actually have had better results with this system than shipping on a pallet with a freight. Um, those machines still from time to time get jarred because they get put down too hard or too heavy or get stacked upon or um, you know for a number of reasons.